All right, what's going on, guys? Um, I just wanted to say happy Thanksgiving to everyone that's watching my video today. It's like 5.30. I'm editing this video. Um, actually, I went out to JCPenney's this morning, and uh, my battery wasn't... I mean, the charger, I don't know, it, it just wasn't... I think it's the... Um, I got a converter so I can... Um, so I can charge my uh, camera up while I'm out and about and such. And uh, I don't know, it just didn't, um, it wouldn't charge for some reason. But it's charging down the house, so I don't know. So I didn't really get to film much. Um, but I filmed on the way going there and, you know, so I'll just try edit and make a little video. I mean, it's not much work, but it is what it is. Sitting out in the garage, it's cold. <laughs> I got this, I got this space eater right here. <laughs> Next to the laptop, it is cold out here, <laughs> for real. Um, like, I'm for real, I'm cold. I got, I got my hands in my pants, it's cold. <laughs> but everybody's sleeping in the house, so. <clears throat> Figured out, um, like I said, I'm going to edit this video and try and get this together. And then I'm going to try and take a nap before everybody, everybody else wakes up. Um, and then I'm going to be doing cooking and such all day long. Like I said, it's about 5.30, uh. I got up at about 4.30 or 4 or maybe 3.30. I mean, I didn't wake up just to come out here to JCPenney or anything. Like, I woke up because I went to sleep at like 8.39 last night. And then I got up and was just like, I got up about 3 o'clock or so. And was like, nothing to do. Play on Facebook. Look at YouTube videos. I was watching uh, Savage No More. Uh, Lon Chaser came out to kick it with him and hang out and use his um, lead back. Uh, shoot, and if you lived close to hell, I'd come out and play with the lead back too. Shoot, I don't know, I don't know, we, we, we'd have to work something out. I'd be like, hey man, look, why don't you just drive out to this location, and uh, you know, I have to pay you a couple dollars or something, and we go play around today. <laughs> I'm telling you, if I had a setup like that, like, like Savage No More, he's got a, a big gold truck and, and got this lead back sucker thingy with him, man. Well, I, hey, I'm telling you. I would go, I would hit up a street, if I had a big lawn vac like that, like a big lawn truck or whatever, so I could suck up, you know, suck up, you know, in, in like 10 minutes or so, I mean, man, I would go up and I'd hit a, hit a street and I would tell them I'm going to be on the street tomorrow, if you want me to pick your leaves up, you can do one of two things, you can blow all your leaves to the front of the curb, I mean, and this would be, of course, in areas where they're not picking up leaves on the curb, I would be like, look, you put all your leaves in the front of the curb, I'll come through and get them for like 20 bucks or something, 15, you know, whatever, I mean, and then if you want me to blow it, it'd been an extra additional 25 or 30 bucks or whatever, you know, 50 bucks, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm sure I could, I'm just leaving money on the table, but when you go hit a street, and there's like 50 houses on the street, you knock on every door and tell them that you'll be in the area tomorrow, you know, I mean, you might get about 10 houses or so, especially like on a holiday, like when's like, you know, it's, it's Thursday now, so it's Thanksgiving, but if you had went out yesterday or, or Tuesday even, you know, people want their house to look decent for the holidays, you know, um, it'd be like that, you know, but uh, I don't have that equipment yet, so wishful thinking, maybe I'll look on Maybe people will be selling their stuff after this year. You know, I'll look on Craigslist and piece together some equipment. And I don't know, you know, because I still need other stuff too, like a backpack blower. And I want to get a welder sometime whenever I'm out by Harbor Freight because I want to put some, do some welding stuff on my trailer. But then it's like, well, I don't even know if I want to do anything to my trailer just yet because I really would like to get a bigger trailer. I mean, I've got a 5 by 10 now, and I really would like to get a 6 by 10 um, just so I could, if I get another mower, I could get a bigger mower. Like right now, I'm basically stuck between, I've got a six foot, you know, of, of uh, a, uh, a five foot mower at 60 inches. So, I mean, it's five foot trailer, which is 60 inches. So I'm pretty much stuck either getting a 48 inch or a 52 inch, you know, a 48, 50 or 52. Um, you know, and then like, if I got a 70 inch mower trailer, you know, I could, I could at least go up to, to like a 61 inch or something. Um, not that I need one that big or anything like that, but I just feel like what's the point in in spending money, uh, you know, getting trailer racks and getting um, a, a, a lawn scaper's cage or whatever for the for the for the trailer if I'm just gonna get rid of it in another year or two? So I don't know, you know, it just depends, I guess. I mean, because you know, I could really just get like a 52 inch mower or a 48 even and be fine, and it would fit on my mower, just, my trailer just fine, and I'll be fine. Another problem is is my garage door. See, uh, my garage doors. 
are I'm not really for sure how wide they are, but I'm pretty sure they're probably about like like 70 inches, I would assume. I would assume that's probably six foot. I'm guessing. I mean, yeah, 70 inches, seven foot, six foot, whatever. So, um, something like that. So, if the trailer's going to be 60 inches, then, you know, you got to make room for your wheel wheelbase, too. Your wheel, you know, your wheels. So, I don't know. Um, uh, so, at least. Yeah, there's the yard signs. One, two, three. Bunch of them, like Tina so. Um, I got a generator right there. I've got to put in the back. Uh, generator right there, in case the power goes out or something. You know, you gotta, gotta, gotta have everything. You know, you gotta, gotta. You know, we got kids and such over here. We gotta still keep the, uh, the household warm and everything. Um. You know, but anyway, like I said, I mean, and the trailer is not even, that's not even something that I'm, that it's not like I need a trailer or anything. Nothing's wrong with my trailer. My trailer's fine. Um, I'm just trying to plan ahead, you know, um, you know, but I'll probably just end up keeping my trailer. I mean, I've seen, I've seen a couple guys. I'm not really for sure. I can't really t name them off the top of my head. Um, I'm not 100% who it was because I probably don't watch your videos anymore. I think you might have said some slick rick type shit. Acting like a grown ass little child, cause you are a child. Well, this guy was a child. I'm, I'm thinking, like I said, I don't know. I mean, I watch a, a lot of guys on YouTube, so um, I can't really remember. But I haven't seen any videos from this guy, so I must have not unsubscribed from him. But anyway, um, you know, I mean, I'm sure I could take my five by ten, and I mean, all I really need, you know, once it's all said and done, would be like a 36 inch walk behind, a uh, 21 inch push mower. And a, I mean, honestly, I don't even need a 36. I can get a 33 um, Cup Cadet or whatever. But, I mean, I just need to walk behind. They can get in, in the gates when I have extremely long yards and I don't want to push. And then I just need, like, a good uh, zero turn. You know, I did, it doesn't need to be 50 inch. I can get a 48. I mean, it doesn't need to be big. I just feel like if you're going to use a zero turn, you might as well get the biggest that you can get because I'll have the push mower and the walk behind. I mean, eventually, like, I don't have them now, but that's my goals. As far as major equipment. And then, of course, you know, I still want little small stuff, too, like a stick edger. And um, I want to get a backpack blower. In fact, I'd like to get two backpack blowers, but I'll be fine with one for the moment because I still have two. Actually, I have three um, leaf blowers. You know, I've got one on the back of my truck where I went out to, to J.C. Penney's. I got one right there. And then I've got one up there that I've got a kind of service or whatever because I bought that one like I'm pretty sure it's just something simple like a like I don't know but when I was I was out I needed it fixed and I didn't have time I didn't care about it you know because um, at the time like it wasn't starting like it would take a bunch of pools to start and everything so I'm sure just the carburetor needs to be clean no big deal I'll get it together but at the time I just wanted to go buy another I just bought another one and then um, I bought that one thinking that I was just going to take it back to Lowe's um, and then I went to the, to the, to the dealership and I seen the steel and I was like, well, it's, it's less than I thought it was. So I went ahead and bought the steel. Um, and then I just kept it, you know, the, the Poland. So, you know, I mean, I have two and actually I, and I have another one. So, I mean, you know, there's nothing's wrong with it or anything. Like, I mean, I'll work on it whenever I get some time. Um, you know, I also want to get, um, I want to get a, uh, like the, um, I want to be able to get the welder though, so that I can put on some, um, some uh, trimmer racks like I want to get the yellow ones the green leaf or whatever the ones that have the little lock inside um, I mean only reason I like them is just because it seems like every other um, trailer rack it just seems like your your handle turns inside the area and it just seems like it tears stuff up I mean I don't mind spending the extra I think the, the like the green leaf or whatever like 179 bucks for like or maybe 220 for like three leaf or whatever three tier something like yeah I mean I'll spend 220 versus spending like 150 bucks on one that may tear up my equipment. I mean, when you spend like five, four, five hundred dollars on a trimmer, you surely don't want to spend two hundred dollars on a trim, on a, on a trimmer rack just for it to tear your stuff up. So, you know, I'd like to get that, and then I'd like to, if once I get the welder, I'll be able to build me a little, uh, a little cage like uh, Geek the Freak has on the front of his truck. Um, you know, I want to be able to put storage, just stuff like, you know, gas cans, just stuff that I just have, like, you know, just little random stuff. Um, you know, I made a video earlier this year. I went to a place and they was gonna charge me like six or seven hundred bucks just to just to buy it. 
and then like 60 bucks an hour to weld it on. I mean, you would end up spending about 800 bucks after it's all said and done. And it's like for 800 bucks, I mean, damn, I, I spent like 1100 bucks on my trailer. So, <laughs> you know. And uh, speaking of the trailer, like, actually, I've seen a trailer on Craigslist that was, like, 5 by as a 6 by 11 or 6, 6 by 10 or 6 by 12. I can't remember. But they only wanted $1,000 for it, and it had the, the door, the, um, the, the, had the, the ramp on the side, so you could go up in the back or you could go up on the side. And that was cool. Like, I surely would sell my, my, tra- my trailer for, you know, eight nine hundred dollars or so and then you know spend a couple hundred dollars and get get that trailer because then that way when i have the other the, you know well, like right now i have two push mowers on the front so it's like when i come to a house that i've got to push if i got the zero turn i got to take it off and then take the push mower off and actually the way i ride is i ride push mower up front edger and push mower um so you know and i i, I just bring them all everything because i mean some houses i edge and some houses i don't and some houses i pick up yards and I mean, you know, if I pick up a house and they, they're willing to pay the, the, you know, a little bit extra. I mean, not extra, just if I come to a house and they stop me, hey, sir, you cut yards? Of course, I, yes, ma'am, I cut yards. Yeah, that, that's that's why I have mowers on the back of my truck. Oh, well, how much do you charge? Well, it just depends, ma'am. I mean, if you just want me to come through real quick and, and knock it out, you know, it's going to be an X amount of price. But if you want me to do it like this, it's going to be this amount of money. I mean... You know, you want me to edge it out and make it look decent? I mean, you know, it's whatever you want to do. If you want me to just come through and, and cut it because it needs to be cut, then I'm not going to break my back and I'm not going to charge you that much, you know. Um, so, yeah, so, so if somebody wants their yard edging and, and it's too much for me to work with my weed eater, no. Trust me, I can do it with a trimmer. I'm, I'm sure y'all have seen other videos of other people doing it with a trimmer. Yeah, you could do it with a trimmer. I mean, hell, you can blow a driveway off with a straw. You can take a straw, blow on it all you want, but um, that doesn't mean that that's necessarily what I want to do. Anyway, look, this is a 12-minute video, and I still got to edit the video and put stuff on front of this, so sorry for rant ch- chatting so long. Enjoy. Hell, I might have to make me another video. This is just some damn chatting. I, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to upload this one. <sighs> yep. Yeah.